Welcome back. Some healthcare workers gathered in East Hollywood today saying they feel unsafe on the job and now they want change. Yeah, that's right. They're urging state lawmakers to pass new legislation that would increase hospital security. KCAL's Juan Fernandez here now to give us more insight tonight. Well, Susie Chauncey, they're saying that this issue is very urgent right now. We know there's a mental health crisis on the streets and they can oftentimes make their way into hospitals as well. And nurses and medical personnel say they just want to feel safe at work. And one lawmaker says he has the answer. It was two years ago this month that a man stabbed a doctor and two nurses at Encino Medical Center. It's a day Gloria Mateos will never forget. What happened at my hospital should never happen again. And that's exactly what State Assembly Member Mike Gibson is hoping to do by introducing State Assembly Bill 2975. At a rally in Hollywood, he said the bill would require hospitals to have metal detectors and trained security officers at key hospital entrances. We want to make sure that nurses and doctors do what they're being taught and trained to do, and that is to provide quality care not act as security guards. Registered nurse Brittany Brandon works in the psychiatric unit at several area hospitals. Working in the psych units, we face with all kinds of danger. You have to know how to not only deal with people's medical conditions as well as their mental health. This makes working every day as a nurse a dangerous job. Nurse Brandon says right now nurses are usually the first line of defense when a new patient shows up at the hospital. There is no policy currently at my hospital that requires a security officer instead of nurses to search their bags. This can be dangerous for us as nurses because we're often in front of them checking belongings where you may find knives and things that they use. Supporters of AB 2975 say with hospitals seeing more and more cases of patients dealing with a mental health crisis, more needs to be done to keep everyone safe. Specifically, mandates hospitals to have metal detectors and make sure that we have a uh, security officer there who's qualified, who's on duty, who is visible to making sure these kinds of incidents um, are decreased or eradicated in our hospitals so that people can come in to address their health care needs. If the legislation is passed, nurses say they could finally focus solely on patient care and feel safe while doing their job. The victim's wounds have healed, but the incident still haunts us today. And tonight we're getting this response from the California Hospital Association saying they're already working with Assembly Member Gibson on the legislation to, quote, ensure that an effective weapons detection system can be implemented in each hospital throughout the state. They went on to say with such diversity in the size and scale of our state's hospitals, it's imperative we find an approach that will work for all. We look forward to continuing to work with the author and sponsors of this legislation. Now, the bill must next get approved by the state assembly before moving to the governor's desk for his signature. And right now, there's no time limit for that. So they're still gaining support. They're hoping to get more support on this. And these nurses and doctors hope that this legislation goes through. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks All right. a lot. Thank Juan. you, Juan. Mm -hmm.